Hi, my name is Alan Sao, and I help students master AP Physics 1. Today I want to talk about the question, why is the AP Physics 1 exam so difficult? So you might have seen some of the statistics, you know that 7% of students are going to score a 5 on the AP exam, so why is the exam itself so difficult? I actually don't think the exam is more difficult than say like AP Calculus AB where 20% of the students are going to score a 5 and much higher percentage of students are going to score a 3, 4, or 5 or a passing score. I actually don't think AP Physics 1 is actually more difficult. I actually think that preparation for students for the AP Physics 1 exam is not done very well for a lot of people. So um, traditional physics classes, when you look at standard textbook problems, they focus a lot on setting up a problem, solving it, finding an equation, and getting a number as your answer. That's like the standard problems that you'll find in most physics textbooks. And if that's the kind of preparation that you do and your teacher provides you, then that's not a good recipe for what happens on the AP Physics 1 exam. The exam attempts to challenge to make sure you understand the core reasoning and the core foundation behind the actual material. So one of the big reasons is you're not familiar with the actual style of questions that are on the AP exam. And that's why it's really important to look at past AP exam questions, look at the free response questions and how to answer them. There's a lot of times that students have never seen a free response question or a, or a correct AP style question if they've only been doing textbook style questions. Another problem is students don't know how to answer the questions correctly. So the scoring guidelines for all the free response questions are really important because they tell you what are the specific things that the, the grader is looking for when it comes to granting points. Like one example is in an experimental design question, you should always be telling them that you're going to repeat it multiple trials and that will eliminate uncertainty. But a lot of students forget or are not actually taught to put that in their answer to get that one point for the experimental design question. The last reason that makes the exam hard is that most students don't know how to apply what they've learned when it comes to the multiple choice questions. I get a lot of students tell me the multiple choice questions are all conceptual. I don't get conceptual questions. And if you're always practicing solving numerically, sure, the conceptual questions might feel difficult. I actually don't think the multiple choice is as conceptual as most people think. Yeah, they are conceptual to some extent, but there's still a lot of analysis I do. When I answer the multiple choice questions, I still am drawing free body diagrams. I'm still determining the work, whether or not conservation of energy applies. I'm still defining the systems. The only difference on the multiple choice questions is you have to learn how to use your analysis, compare scenarios, and use your equations to compare and interpret the result rather than just solve for a number. That's what the College Board stresses on the AP Physics 1 exam, and a lot of students just aren't taught some of those skills. A lot of you, if you were taught those skills, you would be better prepared to actually take the exam and score a lot more points on the exam itself. Let me know in the comments below, what are you guys missing when it comes to preparing for the AP exam?